um, happy Sunday. So on the scene today, this location is a little bit different. I'm actually at Top Mall, which is like not really my scene, but I'm just being a good girlfriend and I'm supporting Top Mall. Apparently, I'll just support who I would get told to support. Um, I've got the. Uh, it's kind of giving like I don't know Winter Wonderland vibes in this club because it's just a bit like rowdy, loud men. Not really my scene if I had to choose, but I'm gonna go along with it. And yeah, I'm gonna get some footage actually in the stadium, which hopefully will be a bit of a better atmosphere. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little while. currently Monday afternoon and I am just on a little walk. I did only film a little bit at the football yesterday because, not gonna lie, I did forget. I, I filmed when we went in a pub and had a drink before the match and then when the match happened, I guess I was watching that and putting Instagram stories on, so I did forget about the vlog. Um, but I'm just on a little afternoon walk. I do have a day off today. It's been so busy recently. Like, I feel so lucky because I kind of feel like in the performing world, I'm doing kind of the things that I really wanted to do when I first graduated, but obviously lockdown, COVID and life and relationships and all that kind of things got in the way a little bit of me finding the work that I guess suits me the most within the industry. It's really hard sometimes, even training at Bird, it was a great experience and I'm so, so thankful for it, but even if you train, it doesn't mean to say that you have really clear visions as to where you see yourself. And I think I always knew, for instance, I preferred pop and yeah, pop singing, things like that. But now I'm finally doing that and I feel really lucky. So yeah, I'm off today. I'm out of breath walking up a hill that's not even steep. A bit worrying actually. That is a little bit worrying. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. A lovely kind of not too cold, not too well. Obviously, it's not hot. It's blooming mid December, but I actually really need to do my Christmas shopping. I've not, I've not really done it yet. I'm not very good at being particularly organised. Any Christmas with Christmas shopping, I tend to do it all in one day, which is obviously stress because shops are so busy, and I like to see things in real life. In real life in person instead of online I think but yeah I'm gonna carry on with this walk for a little bit and then I will catch you guys up I think this is gonna be like a bit of a weekly vlog it looks like but I'm gonna stop filming actually because all the school's coming out and they're all literally looking at me so yeah I'll catch you guys in a little while so it is currently 10, 10 past 6 and me and John are going for <sighs> look how cold it is we're going for Anando's and there's loads of traffic oncoming and they're probably all looking at me but do I care well apparently not because I look like this but I got my ear of song and we're going for Anando's and I'm really excited because I used to go to Nando's literally like every single weekend or something without fail or even like maybe twice a week or three times a week but haven't been in about maybe like three weeks or a month so this is a very exciting night. I mean, it's only Nando's, but I'm quite a cheap date. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into But yeah, anyway, I will vlog in Nando's and show you what I get. I actually got a little rosé, a bit naughty, but it's, um, well, it's Monday night, but I still got a rosé. It's my day off today, so why not? I also got peri salted chips, the Sunset Burger, but I've removed the chutney because that's just too much, but, I really like the Sunset Burger because it's got cheese in it. Like, if there's chicken and cheese in a burger, I'm really, really, like, over the moon. And John got peri salted chips. Is that butterfly chicken? Butterfly chicken, garlic bread, and some halloumi. <laughs> there's not a lot in there, John. But, yeah, very, very happy. And this is probably going to go in about 10 minutes' time. Or five. So, yeah, this morning I'm kind of just, like, having a little chill. I actually really want to show you a couple of products a couple of products that I got from a pharmacy yesterday. I literally just walked into this pharmacy, which is near John's, and best believe it was really cute. Uh, they decorated it very Christmassy, and it was a very nice pharmacy. And I got, I really wanted to get a new moisturiser because 
as you girls will know at this time of year my skin is dry like dry yeah so i got a moisturizer and a cleansing balm so i'm gonna film those in a little moment to show you what they are and where they're from and where you can get them from and yeah i actually cleaned my makeup bag this morning that doesn't happen like ever but i just thought it's messy and it's see-through it's a clear makeup bag so i thought mm, i really need to clean that so anyway yeah let me show you the products that i got first up i got the CeraVe moisturizing lotion the lady in there did say to me that like if i don't really like wearing makeup all the time in my spare time because i wear it so much when i dance she says you don't really want a thick moisturizer either which i guess is kind of true so this is a lotion moisturizing lotion which i guess it just makes it a bit um more breathable on the skin and yeah more of a lotion so i did get that that's the CeraVe <clears throat> moisturizing lotion this is also great for like dry skin in the winter Lo girls and lads like we all get dry skin so yeah i thought that was quite a good purchase i also did get the blemish control cleanser because when i was a little bit younger in my late teens i did have quite bad skin especially at school um with age it's getting better but you can't go wrong with something like this um because yeah it looks like quite a good one for the morning skincare routine i also did get this the other day when i went foss park in leicester with my mum I did get, I really like number seven. I think all their um, products are very, very, like, hypoallergenic. I don't know how you say that, but that's how you say it. Hypoallergenic. My mum told me when I was younger, you want things that aren't really, you know, really perfumed and just have very natural ingredients. I really like number seven. And this cleansing balm is great to take off your makeup which I like to use. I don't really like using makeup wipes, so I thought this was a really good purchase morning everyone happy wednesday i'm on the way to the train station it was a bit of a rush this morning so i didn't really do any makeup or anything like that but i'm literally going back home to teach dancing and yeah i'm literally going home to teach dancing see my old jbs family and then spend a couple of days at home i actually booked my mum last night a really really early um christmas present which by the time the vlog is up she will have been to it so I'm allowed to say that at the moment but I'm also going to vlog actually what I get up to at the weekend because I've got quite a lot of bits going on actually so maybe this will be like my longest vlog who knows but yeah I'm going to get on the train now because I'm actually running late and then I'll catch you guys in a little while so I'm just about to get my train made it to Euston on time there's a cute Christmas tree so I'm loving that there's actually a lot of people around but oh well um yeah I kind of don't actually give myself enough time sometimes to get like food um, but I actually have 15 minutes, so I'm going to go to Upper Crest, because it's really like Upper Crest. And yeah, just get whatever really. Someone just thought I was talking to myself, so I'm actually going to go now. Good evening, guys. So I actually didn't really vlog much of this evening because I was teaching um, at my dance school where I went to when I was younger. And I taught a musical theatre class. And it was really, really good. The kids were so lovely and it was a really great night of teaching. Um, I've just been chilling out a little bit with my mum and my brother and my dad and yeah that's something that I haven't done much of really the past eight years. I've been so busy being away with like training and contracts. It's really nice to spend time with um, my family because it's not been the easiest year at all for my family. So I decided like I'm spending Christmas Day with them um, and yeah it's been a good busy day. But I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'm actually going into Birmingham tomorrow to get some Christmas presents. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'm vlogging and there's a car. Morning guys, happy Thursday. So I'm literally going to the ball ring today to tackle Christmas shopping. Like it's literally no Christmas day, so it's gonna be really busy. But I thought I'd join, no, I'd let you guys join me on my little trip and see what I get. Mm, I really hope that I get it done today because I don't like spending bits and days doing bits. Like, I'd just rather get it done in one day. So hopefully it goes well. I've tried to plan exactly what shops I'm going to, but I get distracted by like food. So we'll see. I'm just in TK Maxx and I feel like candles are a really, really good choice when Christmas shopping. So I'm just having a little look now and I think they're a really easy present for like mums or sisters or partners, mums or 
any woman really i mean men can have candles too obviously like i think some of these ones may be for a male judging by the colors i'm not sure but yeah i'm just kind of looking now and yeah i mean i'm gonna have to have a little smell because at the moment i'm just filming so i'm gonna have a little smell and then decide which ones will be best suited to my mum my mum's a bit like hard to she really likes like fruity scents but it's a it's a it's a bit long i think when you don't really know what some what someone likes the scent of but um yeah really really good idea obviously these aren't too expensive as well tk maxx is really good for obviously like sort of cheaper prices so. just found a really nice lavender one and my mum actually really really likes lavender so hopefully she doesn't watch this before she sees it in person but yeah i think i'm gonna get this for my mum because it's ideal for what she likes so yeah we're gonna get that so just in tk maxx and i've realized that you can actually get really like nice high-end brands in here for a lot cheaper so it's quite good they've got the beauty works dry oil spray which is coconut scent and that's only 7.99 so i like coming in here just to get like a few presents and even for myself i really need a new hair serum so i'm just looking for that now but they also have hair masks dry shampoo like literally everything you'd need and they've got some like really nice um brands in here as well which is why i love tk maxx just for the price it's really good i think these are really good ideas instead of bags um obviously you can just put your presents in here and it's easy and i mean i will wrap them but it is just easy anything to save time we love that i literally feel like i'm on um, strictly come dancing not shopping i just love this bit so much um, I'm just in Selfridges in the Boring now, having a little look about. I mean, it's so pretty, it's so distracting. There's like lights everywhere. I can't even look at any jumpers because I'm distracted. But yeah, there's so many designer things in here, which is like lovely, but <laughs> bank account says not. Oh, 50% off, maybe. Actually, I'm not a fan of that. Um, this is what I mean. I'm so indecisive. Being a Libra is like really quite challenging because i could stand there for like half an hour and look at a top and i've not even got any further with my life oh that's quite cute look at that aesthetic um but yeah i'm just a little bit like tired and i've only been here for a little while so oh so i am in the german market i love the german market so much and it brings me so much joy so much joy i can't even string a sentence together but look i mean not at the scaffolding that's literally really ruining the view but yeah birmingham's kind of like i don't know how to explain it it's kind of like nice but not like oh you think I'm gonna... people um but literally like just get me a german sausage a mulled wine and let's call it a night like i'm literally on my own as well so i don't know who i think i'm doing this with i'm doing it by myself i'm, I'm riding solo today how i like to live my life when i'm christmas shopping because i get it done so much faster and my speech is actually like going so fast and i kind of need to have a breath um but i will catch you guys in a little bit i think i'm gonna get some food because i actually haven't really eaten like anything today so yeah i'll catch you guys in a little while all right so i was actually gonna vlog the whole bagel but i started eating it and thought i should probably vlog this but i found a little place called bagel factory and i actually am um, i'm obsessed I have been in the ball ring now, like as a shopper for years. It's like my go-to shopping place. And I've only just discovered this. I don't know if I'm blind or probably just on my phone. But yeah, this is top notch. I got ham and cheese bagel and I got a chai latte. Hey. But I'm charging my phone and I've got my notebook out. So I'm probably gonna sit here now for a little while in all honesty, because my legs, I can't feel them. I've been shopping that long. So I'm sat down charging my phone. But I did get 10 in one leave-in hair repair. From TK Maxx. I think I put it in the vlog earlier, but I am actually just trying it out in a minute because I'm so excited. I might actually do it when I get back because I'm gonna look a little bit weird in the middle of Grand Central Spring hair and the and flashes in my face, so I think that's a little bit intense for public. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna do it later though. But yeah, I'm so tired and I can't wait to get home and sit on the sofa. day this year unfortunately i'm not in panto which is quite sad but i broke my wrist i couldn't go to the audition and it is what it is but me and my mum were going to see one today it was like an early christmas surprise for her and yeah it's just nice at the minute i feel very fortunate to be busy but i said to my mum on the train i said i have to ask people what day it is 
I think that like links in with like organization as well I think being organized is something that as a person I have to work on um, because I'm not <laughs> So I'm not I'm not as organized as I should be with the schedule I have so yeah we are making sure from 2024 onwards Alexandra Brooks writes in her diary that is the goal but yeah we're gonna go and get some food before the show and then I will catch you guys after but I am gonna end the vlog today because it's gone on for quite a while now and I'm gonna make a new video next week you can't stop the beat. You can't stop the beat.